Hi everybody. I I have the um, the National Electrical Electrical Code Handbook here, and I want to show you in this calculation example that is in the um, page one thousand seventy seven. And it says, uh, determine the minimum size RMC allowed for the 10 mixes conductors sizes and types described as follow. So we have here the conductors and we have 4, 12, AWG, THW, N, and as you can see there, tree number A and tree number 6 with different insulation and I want to show you um, how to calculate it how to calculate it uh, first um, with my app and then with my um, with me just with me and my calculator so let's begin so here we have uh, my app is called uh, AWG calculator and I'm working on it but I want to show you how to calculate conduit size just tap here and has the, the calculation example and number two says and uh, we have four 12 a w g t h w n so we're going to select 12 and see the conductor insulation and there you go we are going to press this button four times and now we have four conductors then it says that we have three number eight TW. So I'm going to change it. Number eight, and it was a TW. We have the TW. They are three, so it's one, two, three. And finally, we have three number six THW. So we change it to six and uh, as you can see THW is in the same so we just need to add three one two and three and then select here tap this button select conduit type and um, we have to choose the RMC RMC and it says that we need a one inch a quarter i don't know how to say it in english uh, my, my english is not my mother tongue so <laughs> i'm sorry for that so um there you have it there you have it and um, remember that the neck says that over two wires you have to and uh, you have to have only the 40% of the conduit fill and there you have it and now I'm going to show you how to how to do it uh, with just your calculator and then we are going to compare the results um, um, and see uh, which one is faster or which one is better and I know that with this app is 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 faster, but uh, it's good to know how to do it uh, with the both um, type of calculations with the app and and with your with your brain. Okay, so uh, let's see how it is. So I have here my um, my notebook. And I'm going to show you how to calculate uh, the conduit uh, for the example number two. Okay, sorry. It was four. 
number 12 THWN maybe four then three uh, number eight TW and three number six THW so first the first thing that you need to do is uh, look for the conductor area the approximate approximate area and you have it in the tables in your national electrical code to to see so <clears throat> we need to know first the approximate area of the conductors and you just have to go here and see we have it in the um, page number 98 and the first one are uh, T H W N number 12 so I have to see where is the T H N T H W N sorry T H W N and see for the number 12 I don't know if you see it ah, here here you have it here you have it here you have it th w n number 12 it has a 0 0.0133 approximate area of the square inches so i'm going to um, copy it th w n number 12 Zero point. So you just need to put it here. Zero point zero one three three. Now you have to uh, you have to multiply this for the number of conductors. They they are four, so he. It is like this then you have to look for TW now we're going to see the uglies uh, is the number 8 so TW I have TW TW here and there you have it number 8 and is 0 point zero four three seven zero point c row four three seven and multiply it by three why by three because they are three conductors number eight tw and finally we need to look for thw THW number six. THW, THW number six. It's not there, and I think it's over here. T, THW number six, and it has a approximate approximate um, square inches area of zero point zero seven two six. Write it down zero point zero uh, seven to six and multiply it by c uh, by by three sorry by three by three okay now now I need my calculator and I'm going to uh, <clears throat> I'm going to pause the video and put all the results here and then I'm going to continue okay uh, I have uh, the results of every uh, conductors 
and I have this one, this one, and this one. And I need to sum all of these. And the result is 0 0.4023. That is the result that we are look, that we were looking for. We, that we have been looking for. Square inches, okay? Now that now that we have that uh, result, that area, we need our table for the rigid metal conduit, our NC, and it's in the table number one, chapter nine in your National Electrical Code in C. You have a lot of columns here and this is what are we looking for? It's one of these. So it's easy. Over two wires because we have more than two wires four, three, three, <clears throat> ten wires. We are going to see our result. We are going to see which one is going to fit. So we have this one, 0 0.610, 0 0.610. It is bigger than the result, so, so that is our selected conduit size. And it is the one and a quarter inches trade side. So there you have it. That is how you do it. This is the, uh, the conve conventional that you learn and you have it with my app you have the same result now we are going to see the neck the national electrical code to see and compare these three results so here you have it uh, the example and the solution and the solution they do the same as i did it the cross sectional area and they zoom all, all these areas and remember the 0 0.4021 square inches and the solution is the over two wires column in table 4 indicates that 40% of the trade side 1 a quarter RMC is 0 0.610 inches square inches sorry therefore trace size this side is the minimum size uh, mc allowed for this combination of 10 conductors so there you have it with the <clears throat> we have the same result and i hope this video uh, is helpful and if you like it please uh, share it and subscribe or hit the like button and I just want to to help some electrician there um, and remember that I'm, I'm just like you I'm learning all the time and I'm I'm actually a teacher like electrician teacher electrical teacher I don't know how to say it in English because my mother tongue is Espanol mi, mi nombre es Melchizedek Martinez so my name is Melchizedek Martinez and um, my mother tongue is Spanish and I, I'm just learning English <clears throat> as well so <laughs> I'm sorry for my bad English so there you have it the, the two ways to calculate conduit size so that's all bye